Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So yesterday actually we were watching for just minor spike, spike down to completion of the uh, part of light target that we have on a one hourly chart and we said before we'll take the some different position or something, we, we need to get the clear signs, some signs of the changing of the sentiment, changing of the performance. And yesterday, as you could see, that something is going on here, at least on the daily chart, we see reversal bar. So yesterday, market has from bullish reversal sessions, creating the new lows and close above the top of the previous session and even above the top of the two sessions ago. So uh, that at least something that we could try to use or at least to keep watching what will happen. I suspect that that might be because of market right now stands at some equilibrium break even between uh, anticipation of the 25 points rate change by the fed and 50 points rate change and even minor change in the statistics although some indicators that actually very rare leads to some significant action on the market it could uh, turn equilibrium in a favor of one or other solution so yesterday for example we've got some secondary uh statistics not very important so it was some re original indicators as i mentioned in the, today's euro video is a pmi numbers and uh, uh, some regional uh, dallas uh, manufacturing uh, index and some others and well actually they're very rare leads to some really big action on the market but since market stands at some break-even point uh, they could shift the balance in favor of one or other decision or, or at least in, in one or other uh, market thoughts on, on, on uh, interest rate. So as will be 25 or 50 points. And particularly due to these statistics, maybe another reason is maybe just markets uh, too low, too long time sitting on the hands waiting for some triggering moment. But anyway, it has led to some performance that we see right now. Now daily trend is uh, a version of the turning to the bullish. So the bullish trend is not confirmed yet. But price right now stands above the MACD predict indicator and today by the close might be we will get the daily bullish trend and all this stuff is going on around the daily contents. Uh, so by looking at our time frame and the full hour time frame chart, what we have? Another sign is that market is just breaking out the channel that we have previously specified, although the OP target has not been tested yet, it has not been completed. And with this performance, we have two options for trading. First one is for those of you who trade on a daily and fall time frame chart on the high time frames chart, we just will be watching for head and shoulders. So let's take a look. That's maybe left shoulder. That's by the way, our butterfly that we talked about yesterday. And here, as you can see, market just slightly has not completed 18 even area with the spike down. It's 1618, just barely has not been tested. And uh, this butterfly has been mostly complete. Market turns in opposite direction. So for us, we're not intending to, to trade every swing in this in this head and shoulders. So we not want to go in first up, then taking position to the downside. We're just will be watching for pattern will be in place and we're watching for an area around 1820, 25, somewhere in this point where the top, bottom of the right arm might be formed. Once it will be formed, we'll make decision on position taking. This is approach for those who trade on the daily chart. Uh, if you're scalp trade and trade on the lower time frames, theoretically you, you you try you could try to take the bet on the recent reversal bar. So since here, as you could see, more or less strong action, you could try to ride on this momentum, this impulse of this action. So with this minor pullback, if it will happen, you could try and take the long position with the target around the neckline. It's around 1850-1845 area. This is another minor trade that you could try to take. This depends on your trading style and, and the time frame where you are working. So that's actually what we have from the gold market. So everything's going to some motion and we'll just let's see what we will get. 